Hey guys, and welcome back to the Randomized k -On Pokemon Team Series. We're halfway through the series, and now moving to Generation 5 and the Unova region, covering Black, White, Black 2, and White 2. To give the girls the most options available, we will be using the expanded Black 2 and White 2 Pokedex. So let's start with Yui. Yui's first Pokemon will be... Delcaddy. Well, even if that's not a very competitive Pokemon to get, it certainly is fitting. Yui loves cute things, so Delcaddy is something she would definitely use if only because she'd find it cute. But we're not here to talk about its cuteness. It has very reasonable speed, but its other stats are pretty lacking. For abilities, they all seem pretty decent, but I'd say Cute Charm would be the most annoying since switching out is the only way to get rid of it. For level up moves, it's limited, if you start with a Delcaddy right off the bat. You'd obviously want to keep it a skitty for a while. For TMs, it's very good for a normal type, but quite a bit smaller than some others. So, not a bad start, but not a broken start. There's definitely some use you can get with a Delcaddy. Yui's second Pokemon will be... Drapion. I can already see Mio's reaction to seeing this thing. I have heard pretty good things about Drapion, and given that it's Aaron's ace in Sinnoh, despite not actually fitting his type specialty, it is very much a formidable Pokemon. It's very good in physical stats and speed, so it'll hit quite hard and fast. For abilities, they all seem pretty useful, so I'm not really sure which is the best. For level up moves, it's pretty damn good. Strong stab moves, plus bug moves, and especially the elemental fangs for coverage. That is terrific. For TMs, it's pretty good. While it may only have Ice Fang to cover its ground weakness, keep in mind that ground is its only weakness. So this is a very strong member for a team. As MJTV said in his Platinum Nuzlocke, it's bulkier than Weavile and takes less efforts to make than Umbreon and being poison type will really help against tough fairy types in the future. Yui's third Pokemon will be... Sork. Nice, Yui gets one member of the counterparts to the Kanto Hitmons. I would assume Sork and Throw are basically the same to Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, though I have yet to use the former two myself. It has sky-high attack, so if it hits you, it will hurt. And it's not too terribly frail or slow. For abilities, they're all useful. Immunity to being KO'd in one hit, immunity to flinching, and bypassing certain abilities. For level up moves, a lot of great attacks to choose from, particularly Brick Break and Close Combat. For TMs, there's some nice variety here, and it gets the like of Payback, Stone Age, and Rock Slide, and also Poison Jab once Fairy was introduced, to cover its weaknesses. So a very solid Pokemon for a team. It hits hard and has some variety for moves. Yui's fourth Pokemon will be... Arcanine. How's that? She gets the Legendary Pokemon, as it's called. Arcanine is a fierce Pokemon to have, especially after the special stat split which made it a lot better after Gen 1. While it most certainly is not legendary with its stats, especially its defenses, they're still very good. At least 90 in 4 of the 6. For abilities, I think Intimidate is the most practical, given the other two either require you to be in a double battle, or be able to protect the type of an incoming attack. For level up moves, it's tiny if you were to start with an Arcanine right off the bat, given that it's a stone evolution, although potentially getting both Fire and Thunder Fang is wonderful. But having other stat moves would require you to keep it a Growlithe for a while. For TMs, it's not bad. There's a little variety here. So, very good overall. It's powerful, it's majestic as all hell, and she can even ride it, which she would totally do. Yui's fifth Pokemon will be... Ordino. Yui gets the Gen 5 replacement of Chansey, so if she or her Pokemon got hurt, Ordino could help with healing. From my observation, it looks like they decided to take some of Chansey's insane HP stats and distribute it among the other stats with Ordino. For abilities, I kind of fail to see how Klutz is useful, so I'm saying the healing moves are best. For level up moves, it's basic. There's some decent attacks, but I think Ordino would be more used as a support Pokemon. 
for TMs, it's as good as a lot of normal types. So if you wanted to use it as an attacker, you do have the option since, while its attacking stats aren't amazing, they are substantially better than Chansey's and Blissey's. So you can use it however you want it. Pure healer and support, attacker, a mix, whatever you want really. And Yui's last Pokemon will be... Amoongus. That's a bit of a disappointing finish. Amoongus isn't the most powerful grass type ever, and it's one of the doofiest Pokemon ever made. It's a very slow Pokemon, but it does have good HP, and the other stats aren't too bad. For abilities, they're both good. I can't really say which is better. For level up moves, it gets some decent looking attacks, including Faint Attack for a bit of coverage. For TMs, it's surprisingly small, but Energy Ball and Sludge Bomb are terrific stab moves for it. So while not the most impressive way to cap this team off, it's still useful. It won't hit tremendously hard with its attacks, but it'll do some damage. It would be best used for support though, since I think the general consensus is that's the best role for grass types. And that's it for Yui's Gen 5 team. Not a bad start overall, half her team is really good, and there are definitely some strategies you can come up with with the various moves and abilities. I think Yui could do well with this team. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Feel free to come join me on Discord. Consider backing me on Patreon. And remember to stay chilled.